I've always liked a quote from Bob Dylan. The highest purpose of art is to inspire. What else can you do? What else can you do for anyone but inspire them? It is gratifying to think of us having inspired these youngsters to pick up a pair of drumsticks, a guitar, a rhyming dictionary, and torment their parents as we tormented ours. <laughs> Inspiration is a shared gift. Like love, like music, it's a little human magic. It's undeniable that Rush has been a huge influence on so many. And I've come to call these people the sons, the sons of Rush. Meaning, these are Rush's children, if you will. These are the people that they inspired. Dream Theater. Dream Theater played Rush songs when they first met each other at Berkeley School of Music. It was Rush that united them. That was the common language. And now fast forward, I'm going to the 40th anniversary tour of Dream Theater. So it's such an amazing thing that my favorite band, Rush, was such a heavy influence on my second favorite band, which is Dream Theater. Secondly, Stephen Wilson. I'm a huge fan of Stephen Wilson. And it's funny, I started off listening to Stephen Wilson in his music first, grew to love his music and his albums and all of his songs. And it's only recently, because of my friend Joel especially, I started listening to Porcupine Tree. And oh my, like, wow. Fear of a Blank Planet, what a song. And there's so many more. I'm, learn I'm, I'm going through the catalog now. I'm learning more and more Porcupine Tree. But I'm such a huge fan of Stephen Wilson. He also, another son of Rush. And on one of the Rush compilation albums, or one of the, I think, anniversary versions, he did a cover of Twilight Zone. So, you know, I know he was heavily influenced by Rush, and it's such a wonderful thing to know that he's so prolific now as a producer, musician, and, oh, I love Stephen Wilson's work. There are many sons of Rush, but I consider myself one of them. Again, I'm so heavily influenced by them. I've been listening to Rush for so long. That right back there is a custom painting my wife commissioned to have, and that's them from the 40th anniversary tour. That's Rush up there on my wall. I mean, it's undeniable how much I love Rush. You guys know that. But these Sons of Rush is like, you know you are if you are, okay? If Rush has made such an impact in your life, whether it's Neil Peart's lyrics, Getty Lee, and oh, Getty is a maestro. Also, Alex, Alex Lifeson is one of the most underrated guitar players of all time, I think. Blah, 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 blah. The influence of Rush is undeniable. This also includes Foo Fighters. Foo Fighters gave them their Hall of Fame award. Rush, Fly By Night, Caress of Steel, 2112, A Farewell to Kings, Hemispheres, Permanent Waves, Moving Pictures, Signals, Grace Under Pressure, Power Windows, Hold Your Fire, Presto, Roll the Bones, Counterparts, Test for Echo, Vapor Trails, Feedback, Snakes and Arrows, Clockwork Angels, 45 years, over 40 million records, thousands of shows, selling out arenas all over the world. Billy Corgan, in the documentaries, talked about how he learned entire sides of Smashing Pumpkins, entire sides of Rush albums, or he brought his mom the lyrics to Entree New and wanted her to understand it. That's from their documentary. But also, Billy Corgan was there when they got their Hollywood Walk of Fame star. So yeah, I, two more influences right there. Many of you may know that I have a new video out, Why We Miss Neil Peart. I talk about how I miss him what an inspiration he was to me. And it was a joy making that video. And I miss him. I miss Neil every day. We lost more than a drummer when Neil passed away. We lost more than a lyricist. We lost more than one third of the Trinity of Rush. We lost the wisdom and intellect and his ability to make very complex things understandable. He was an amazing teacher. And there's a reason why we call him the professor. Throughout the Rush community, we call Neil Peart the, the professor. He was a great mentor to me. Well, I got a comment with someone who basically completely disagrees with me. 
and I'm thrilled that he wrote. This is from, let me, let me read his name here. Stream of Consciousness, okay? In uh, Stream of Consciousness writes, I don't miss him, meaning Neil Peart. My video was, why do we miss Neil Peart? And he immediately writes, I don't miss him, but I do feel sad that he is missing out on Rush becoming a phenomena and seeing the influence he has on this latest generation. Counterparts is one of my least favorite albums. You might recall in my video, I call it one of my favorite. So it's one of his least, mostly because of that song. I talked about Double Agent, which has kind of a spoken voice thing. And he said the spoken word indulgence was done much better on Caress of Steel. And then he writes, cheers. First of all, thank you for writing. Secondly, I'm glad you have a different take. I'm glad you disagree. That's cool. Imagine how boring the world would be if we all liked the same things, if we all were inspired by the same things and the same people. If we never disagreed, that would be insanely boring, wouldn't it? Therefore, I love your comments that you do disagree. That's fantastic. Like I said, I can't pick a favorite Rush album. I like Caress of Steel's. You don't like Counterparts. That's fine. Uh, you know, and it's our freedom, right? And I will choose free will. That defines us. It's one of our greatest gifts. Freedom. Free will. Freedom of thought. Freedom of, of expression. These are fundamental core principles of being a human being, or at least they should be. There's a reason why I miss Neil Peart. He's been a great inspiration for me. When I was a young drummer, I met an older drummer, one who could actually play most of Neil Peart's solo at the time. And this is circa show of hands. So if you know that solo, he could play that. It was when we were going back and forth to band practice he had moved up from Texas, this friend of mine, the other drummer. In his truck, a white Nissan pickup truck, he had a row of Rush tapes. I'd never heard Rush before. And I'm like, what is this? I soon found out. And it changed everything. I used to listen to Top 40. I used to listen to that type of music, pop music. When I heard Rush for the first time, Everything changed. Everything changed. So they inspired me to listen to better music right off the bat just by hearing them for the first time. So that inspired me to be a better drummer, a better musician, and also wanting a finer, better form of music. Fast forward, Neil was such a private guy. I think he may have been an introvert like I am. And yet he shared so much with us. He shared his books. When he went through that devastating loss, when he lost his wife and, and daughter, he shared that with us in Ghost Rider, which is right back here. And I've read Ghost Rider a few times. And then his other books about touring and being on his motorcycle and his blog, he inspired me to write my novel. I want to be a writer. I love sci-fi, and I love fantasy, and that's when I started writing Artera many years ago. I still need to finish it. So he inspired me to be a better writer, to be a better drummer. I truly believe that if the world would listen to Alien Shore, drop all their agendas and their bad ideas, and use the principles found in this song, so many problems in the world would be solved. A simple line like this in one of the later choruses says, For you and me, sex is not a competition. For you and me, race is not a job description. For you and me, we agree. Race isn't a competition. Sex isn't a definition. We're all reaching for that alien shore. For you and I, we reject these narrow attitudes. We're building bridges. 
for you and me, we hold these truths to be self-evident, and we elect each other president. That is so beautiful. Is it fair or kind to reduce other people to the melanin level in their skin? Is it nice to only reduce someone to what sex they might be? It's such a beautiful song that takes on really complex subjects, narrows it down, and just states it right out. This isn't a competition. This isn't a job description. Whatever sex you might be, whatever race you might be, it doesn't matter. We're human beings. And that's why I love Alien Shore so much. Neil Peart's lyrics, making complex things understandable, but also he writes in like these proverbs. There are entire songs where he writes the, these little lines of wisdom and it's, they're just beautiful, right? These are the, the, the thoughts of an intelligent man. And, and I gravitate towards that. I want intelligence. I want someone to share their wisdom, their view of the world. And we, we fell in sync in so many things with how we viewed the world. It fit right in line with the things that I already believed in. And then he made me see other angles. To He inspired me across the board. And that's why I miss him. Because he was a mentor. Because of all these points in my life where I aspired to do things, I aspired to be better. And I was inspired to take risks that I had never done before. That's what Neil Peart did for me. And that's why I miss him. So it's cool that you don't miss him. And if, if anyone shares this sentiment, yeah. I, mean, I love the honesty. Neil would love the honesty. Again, how boring would the world be if we all agreed? If we couldn't have civil arguments or ways to express what we believe in, even though they might be completely different, that is... That is the, the fabric that holds us together. So thank you for writing that. Yeah, counterparts means a lot to me. Again, I was a freshman in college. And I remember laying in my bed. I had a copy, I think on cassette at the time. And I was, I was waiting for the local CD store to order me a copy of Counterparts on CD. So for now, I had a cassette. And I'm one of those old school Walkman. And I had my headphones on, and it was dark, and my roommate Joel was already asleep. But I would be listening to uh, Between Sun and Moon. And that chorus, that soaring chorus. Ah, uh, yes to yes to ah. Uh, uh. Wow. It just hit me. I needed that. I'm, I was so homesick at the time. And that was a comfort to me. Brand new Rush and all these beautiful new songs. So yeah, at that transformative point in my life, Rush was there with these amazing lyrics and this amazing music. And it just meant so much to me. That's what it means. That's why Counterparts is important to me. Because of that moment in my life, it meant something so deep and so important to me. That's why. So yeah, so I have a personal reason for that. That is music, though. That's why we love music. Because music should be personal. Music should move us on so many levels. It should move the deepest core of us. That is the power of music. And that's what good, quality, beautifully made music should do. Foo Fighters, Smashing Pumpkins, Stephen Wilson, Dream Theater. I mean, it goes and keeps going and going and going. These are all sons of Rush. Influenced by, they played their music early on, they learned it through and through, and then they started making their own amazing music. And I love that. I love that progression of being, quote, you know, children just listening to growing up and, and making your own. That's pure inspiration, and that's what I call the sons of Rush. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do. More stories are coming soon. I thank you for being here tonight. Please subscribe. Like it if you like it. Drop me a comment. You guys are awesome. I hope you have a good night.